So if you're new to the channel, uh, you know that the X100V means a ton to me. Really the ergonomics of it is, is a, a really big thing for me. The buttons and the dials are in the right spot. The flip out screen is really nice. The viewfinder is amazing. It comes from the X Pro 3, I believe. Um, the camera's really non-intrusive and it's super portable. So if someone sees you using this camera, they're not gonna think, oh, that's a professional camera when really you can use it for professional settings. I carry it with me to weddings. I've shot several photojournalism assignments with it and it was really nice when the weather got really bad and I knew that I had nothing to worry about, which is fantastic. The ergonomics on this camera are great. The button and dial layout are easy and very customizable. It feels great in the hand. And even though it has a small grip on the hand, it doesn't look like much, but it actually, to me, feels really comfortable and it's kind of easy to throw around. The fact that it's the same size as an iPhone mini is pretty wild in my opinion. I mean, look how small this thing is, <laughs> but it works so well. I need to clean it. The images that the Fuji X100V take are great. Of course, you know with the x trans 4 sensor that they're gonna be good, the dynamic range is great, and that's what everybody seems to fuss about nowadays. It handles, it handles low light considerably well, um, considering the size of the sensor, and the grain is pleasing, and I've never had anybody uh, complain about it when I've used it in a professional setting. So I think that that says something for Fujifilm and their sensors. Uh, so this camera, it does do well in low light considering the size of the sensor. The film recipes are great because you can really literally bake any film stock you want to into the camera if you go to the website and get the right the right recipes. <laughs> so these look really great and it's a lot easier just to kind of run and gun shoot and not have to worry about editing which is really nice if you just want to take it on a hike or a vacation or something and then you can just throw all the JPEGs on your phone and then send them to your family members or upload them to Instagram or Facebook or whatever you're using.
Really the biggest thing for me is that once I got the X100V, I wanted to shoot more. And that's really what makes, makes this my favorite camera. If a camera can make you want to shoot more, then I think that's saying something for all of us. It makes me want to shoot more creatively considering there's one lens unless you get the conversion lenses which I do use the wide angle conversion lens quite often but I just like the 28 millimeter focal length a lot. Um, I don't really shoot with the standard 35 very often but I do love the 28 wide angle conversion lens. So the, the thing with me is if that if you train your eye to shoot with one focal length then you will do so much better than changing lenses and using zoom lenses and constantly fumbling around you can concentrate on your work and what you're doing more than having to fumble around with a bunch of stuff If you carried just this camera to a photo shoot, I can promise you it would turn out a lot better than it would if you were to bring all of your cameras and lenses with you. It just makes life so much simpler, in my opinion. It's, it just makes me want to shoot more, and I love it. I like to carry it with me everywhere I go. So hopefully these images will shed some light on the reasoning behind why I say this is my favorite camera. I will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.